I'm a hardware enthusiast. We're hardware enthusiasts, but the recommendations that I make are for the common gamer. You know, uh, you know what comments I've been getting a lot of lately on my YouTube comments? Oh, dude, you know how many of these comments I've gotten? AMD updated driver test again. Dude, AMD, AMD updates and fixes their driver on a weekly fucking basis. You could, dude, you could create an entire YouTube channel on AMD Agisas and driver updates. I'm, I, I, where do you draw the line? Dude, it, dude, it's, it's fucking ridiculous. It's like, um, uh, okay, let's, for example, for example, um, Zen 4 launches broken, which is a given. It's going to launch broken, okay, 100%. They all do. Um, even, even Alder Lake launched broken to a certain extent, right? RDNA 3 launches broken. New Agisa and driver every week. Now, okay, so you know, you know, to um now to play devil's advocate here a little bit as as a hardware reviewer where do you draw the line it, it might be fixed like it might be like like um man you know what they say you know the you know the old saying um first impressions are only made once and it's very very hard to change somebody's mind after right one of the truest sayings of humankind right when you make a first impression very hard to change it after right so when the when when these two are launched broken everyone has that in their mind right and then it's like it's broken don't worry about it and then amd could fix it a week later but I don't have time to be testing that shit every fucking day, dude. You know, it's like, it's like, that's almost. Wouldn't you consider that an AMD bias to a certain extent? Because it's not like you're going out there and you're testing a new NVIDIA driver on a weekly basis. Because their shit just works. Like, you're almost going out of your way to constantly give AMD the benefit of the doubt a little bit, right? So it's like. Dude, when they re when they released that beta driver that was supposed to fix everything, I tested that one. I think we did it together on Twitch. Didn't fix fuck all. Two weeks later. Oh shit, Jufus. Did you hear that AMD fixed their driver? It's like, I don't care anymore, man. Like, I, I, I can't, I can't, like... Like, so, like, e e even if even if amd did fix the driver last week or this week or next week you're two years into the product life cycle of a 6900 xt you're two years in and they fixed the driver two years later like it, it, it like is that what you need to go to sleep at night ah uh, amd fixed my driver two years later I don't fucking care, dude. It needs to, like, maybe within the month of a product launch, it has to work. Right? Like, maybe. I don't know if it fit. I haven't tested the new driver. I don't fucking, I don't know, and I don't fucking care, dude. Also, Warzone is at the end of its lifespan, too. So, what would be the goal in testing that driver now? You know what I'm saying? What's the goal? Oh yeah, guys, AMD fixed the driver now. You, sh you still shouldn't buy their product because it's obsolete now. And Warzone 2 is coming out. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It's fucking pointless. That's what I'm saying, dude. But I get that shit a lot on my fucking YouTube comments, man. Every fucking day. They're like, have you tested the new driver? Tested the new driver. Tested the new driver. No, man. Um, 
what do you guys think though it's like where do you draw the line as a reviewer though dude you could literally make an entire channel on that though like a month a monthly a monthly agisa and driver update testing channel i'm pretty sure there are people that do that like i'm pretty sure there's channels out there that do that don't you like like aren't there like i i think i've seen those thumbnails where it's like a uh down the middle old driver new driver clickbait i've done that shit too plus fps increase or whatever right i'm pretty sure there are channels that do that and i'm pretty sure those channels do very well um i'm more of a hardware reviewer i want to i'm not a driver reviewer right that's like an that's like an entirely different niche right so i'll tell you guys a story okay i'll tell you guys a story right do you guys remember two years ago or two years ago it was it was, it was when ampere launched i uh back when the back before the nakatomi plaza right my my wife loves warzone right and i built her a 5950x warzone machine i think it was a with a 3080 or 3090 i can't remember now right anyway nakatomi plaza came out after i built her that rig right and dude if my wife can notice then i'm pretty sure but my wife has very sensitive eyes right if my wife can fucking notice frame dips then the average idiot should be able to okay she's been gaming for less than two years and she fucking sees it okay so anyway she she she's like i didn't have a 5950x right so she's like something's wrong with the system i'm like what's wrong i do all the stress tests i'm like i do all the memory bandwidth tests all that shit nothing's wrong with it physically on in windows i'm like i don't know what's wrong babe right i wet this is before i discovered the nakatomi plaza texture dip problem right where you move the mouse quickly on an amd system and it fucking dips right so anyway i went out and bought her a 10 900k back back then so that i made that video do you guys remember upgrading from a 5950x to a 10 900k i made a vi that video got so much fucking hate by the way i'm like yeah i upgraded my wife to a 10 900k because it doesn't have the dip problem right so anyway now just so the the point that i'm making where i'm going what's up biggles um the point that i'm making here okay my wife is not a hardware enthusiast okay she just wants to play the fucking game she has her squad that she plays with okay she just wants a computer that fucking works i will never put an amd product in her machine ever again ever because she can't afford the downtime of me troubleshooting her fucking PC. Like, she can. She doesn't need to play fucking games. But it upsets her. She doesn't like me sitting on her computer trying to figure out fucking frame dips. Never again, dude. Is another AMD product going in her machine? Intel, Nvidia, I know what fucking works. I don't have to, dude i haven't heard a peep out of that machine a peep she just plays dude my my suggestions and my content and what i test and the the level of depth that i will go to in terms of like testing amd drivers on a wheel i suggest things for the common gamer not hardware so i'm so that's maybe that's maybe that's the um the the tipping point there right i'm a hardware enthusiast we're hardware enthusiasts but the recommendations that i make are for the common gamer dude the common person that has no fucking clue what they're doing with hardware right so when these people are like you have to test the new driver it kind of works now i don't care dude i'm still not recommending amd products to the average person 
because a new plaza might come out tomorrow and we're back to dip fest i don't know i i can't put i can't put my wife's fucking gaming enjoyment in the hands of amd because fucking um sledgehammer or activision or whatever or ravensoft they might come out with a map with three plazas which i didn't know what was the what was the thing at the time right but they fucking might come out with three plazas right i want my wife to be able to play in every scenario you know what i'm saying dude I, I have countless stories do you guys remember the um the 5700 xt do you remember my buddy with the black screen issue amd problems man every dude it's not like it's not like i'm not giving amd chances all the time too right it's like i built my buddy a pc it came back he said well he wasn't happy i built my wife a 5950x pc she was unhappy when the when the plaza came out right every fucking time i try to do something with an amd product it always comes back to me and i have to troubleshoot it i'm done dude i don't so i'm not testing this new driver i don't give a fuck i will test the new driver when a new product comes out next generation then we will have a fresh new first impression of a product launch so when the 7900 XT comes out, that will be AMD's chance to win favor again. Not a product that's been out for two years already. You know what I'm saying? Good on them if they fix the driver, but I don't care, man. That, that ship has sailed this generation. I'm done, dude. I don't fucking care, right? Yeah, so yeah, the, um, the NVIDIA capacitor crashing pr problem, right? their boost algorithm when ampere first launched yeah their boost algorithm was broken in the driver of some sort right they fixed it in less than a month we don't even know if the amd driver fixed it and this it's been two years man so what does that tell you even if an amd even if an N nvidia product is broken at launch they fix it in one month it's still the safer buy it's a safer buy nothing's perfect right if you're not going to keep up with current performance yeah but i'm not benchmarking the product either the advice that i give so here's okay if somebody came up to me and they were like should i buy a 6900 xt for warzone i would say no not because of the driver, but because Warzone 2 is coming out and that product is the EOL. Not because of the driver. I wouldn't tell them to buy a, th a 3090 Ti either. It's EOL. You, it, we're in the waiting phase now, not the driver testing phase, right? That's over. Uh, and I'm not going and benchmarking that graphics card in new games. I did in that in that Doctor Disrespect game, and that was a clusterfuck, right? That was the latest driver too, right?